It is a great honor to be here, a place where Lincoln served, was inaugurated, and where the nation he saved bid him a last farewell. As we mark the bicentennial of our 16th President's birth, I cannot claim to know as much about his life and works as many who are also speaking today. But I can say that I feel a special gratitude to this singular figure who, in so many ways, made my own story possible, and in so many ways made America's story possible. What Lincoln never forgot, not even in the midst of civil war, was that despite all that divides us, North and South, Black and White, we were at heart one nation and one people, sharing a bond as Americans that could bend but would not break. And so even as we meet here today, in a moment when we are far less divided than in Lincoln's day, but when we are once again debating the critical issues of our time, and debating them sometimes fiercely, let us remember that we are doing so as servants of the same flag as representatives of the same people and as stakeholders in a common future. That is the most fitting tribute we can pay, the most lasting monument we can build to that most remarkable of men, Abraham Lincoln. Thank you.